Luke chapter 21, verses 25 to 28 and 34 to 36. Show us, Lord, your mercy. Grant us your salvation. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with great power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise, like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent, and to stand before the Son of Man. Worried about the coming end of the world? No. That's right. Don't worry about it, if you are living in godly ways. I just returned from a funeral, and Daryl's end of the world came about a week ago. He, like every other person in the world, had his persecutions and trials. People and tabloids have been predicting the end of the world for as long as I can remember. All of us, just like Daryl, will die, and our worldly experience will be over. Or Christ will make his second coming, and again, our worldly experience will be over. For the majority of us, we won't know when the end of earthly life will come. It just comes. Our mission is complete, and now the Father will call us home.